Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. So this is a MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. Can I fix a MacBook Pro? The laptop is not coming on. This job is coming from a local repair shop. It was booked in with no charging or turning on. I will say let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. So plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. 5 volts and nearly no current. So uh, the PD controllers are not working. This port? No, it's not working. So even, even if you have like a single that PD controller, the other one it will uh, not work as well. I will say let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. At least we know uh, we have a power delivery issue. And the laptop, it's open. Can you spot anything? Hmm? Like liquid damage? I mean, for me, it looks quite clean. I can't see any liquid damage here. Wait, actually, this, yeah, this has four USB C ports. But we didn't check these ports. Same story, 5 volts. I will say let's go and check the main power rail just to be sure it's not shorted. Let's see what voltage do we have there. The battery still has some power. Hmm. On this fuse we have nothing. So the main power rail seems to be zero. Let's check with ground. Checking with ground, we have like 11 ohms. Yeah, like 10 ohms. So the main power rail has 10 ohms, which is not right. Not sure if we should disconnect the battery or not it will make no difference. Here it is the main power rail. It is like 10 ohms. Good. Let me come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage to like 10, 11. No, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, let's go even lower because we don't know what is shorted. Something is partial shorted. I mean, it's like 10 ohms. It's not 0 ohms. Partial shorted is a lot worse compared with shorted. So coming with, uh, with power on this capacitor and it's taking no power. Hmm. Raising the voltage. Now it's taking 1.5 amps which is normal because it's charging the battery, right? I mean, it's nothing what we can check. We can check with the thermal camera. Wait, do you think actually the power is not going into the battery? Let's check now the voltage on the main power rail. So the voltage on the main power rail is 9.7. So the voltage it was going inside of the battery. Plug in the charger. 19 volts. Like 200 milliamps. 1.1 amps. So actually the laptop is working or... Uh, hmm? We have picture, that's crazy, we fix nothing. Yeah, we have a name on the screen. The battery is showing like 0%, but... Uh, the battery is taking some current. We have 1.4 amps. 1.5 amps. I mean, this is strange. Why the laptop it will die because of a discharged battery? I mean, the system is built in a such a way to provide a pre-charged current. Because of the 10 ohms on the main power rail, 
which we don't know from where it's coming. Yeah, it is possible. What we did wrong? Probably nothing. I mean, you have 10 ohms on the main power rail. How you will find where is the problem? You have to remove each component from the main power rail, which are hundreds of components on the main power rail. So that, you know, cannot, uh, we cannot take that in consideration. Then when I came with the power supply, I followed the current. There was no current at all till we raised the voltage. You see, this is a tricky fault. 2.4 amps. Shut down the laptop. Let's see, if the laptop is off, what current is taking? I'm assuming the laptop is off right now. And it's like 1.9 amps. Uh... You know, I'm looking for, okay, what was, uh, what had like 10 ohms. That power supply is still on, but that's okay. Actually, that's the charging coil. Yeah, I think it's the charging coil. Let's check. So this coil, yeah, is the charging coil. So that's normal to be on. And if you think, okay, sorry, but that 10 ohms thingy, Probably it will get hot because you know it has some uh, resistance. Well, no, I can't see anything. No, nothing. A dead battery, yeah. So some uh, people it will think a dead battery. You can't check a dead battery. I mean, a dead battery to not have 10 ohms because the battery is behind of some uh, MOSFETs. You have some MOSFETs on the serial mode with the, with the power rail. So no, that 10 ohms didn't come from the battery. So it's still a mystery what was wrong with this laptop. So it is a repair. We fixed it. It's working. Yeah, the problem is not a repair, and most likely, as soon as the battery it will get discharged, like over discharged, it is possible this fault it will come back. But just because it's not a repair, that doesn't mean we are not charging money for this. We still are delivering a working laptop. A working from the customer can recover the data. It's not like we are giving the back laptop the way it was. Have in mind that people are paying crazy money for uh, for data recovery because the only way to recover the data from this laptop is actually by fixing the board. So, uh, speaking as a doctor, we just brought the patient back to the life for a while. We'll let the computer shop know about the situation with the laptop and the laptop most likely possible. Possible it will work for years. Most likely it will die again. And even if he's dying again, we can bring him back to life on the same way. But what I want you to keep in mind is the way I follow to diagnose this fault. Because there's no other way. You'll see there 10 ohms and you'll start removing every capacitor. No, I can't believe that. No. Probably this is the only way to try to figure out what is the problem. Sometimes it's working. You have 10 ohms, you come with a power supply, you see a capacitor which is getting hot. Sometimes it's like this, a component is partial shorted, but as soon as you come with the power supply, the short is gone. So uh, not sure what should I say, not sure how, but, but if you have another way to approach this fault, you know, just let me know in the comments. I'm curious how you'll approach this kind of fault. And we are taking out the battery from this discussion because a used battery doesn't mean it's a shorted battery or a battery which you can check the resistance from here. No. Actually, if I'm taking out the USB-C, I cannot even check the resistance of the main power rail because now the battery has voltage. Remember, it was zero volts on the main power rail. That's the reason why I checked the resistance. But the cells, the cells definitely, they have under one ohm if you put the problem in this way, but you cannot check the resistance from here because, like I said, you have some MOSFETs on the serial mode. Most likely the battery it was disconnected by the MOSFETs. 
because that's what the power management chip it will do. It will disconnect completely the battery, the cells, in order to prevent like further damage. So yeah, it is a it is a tricky fault. Anyway, I'm happy I helped the customer. Uh, still taking now. It's taking like two point three. We have the chime sound and the laptop. Yeah, it's coming on. And yeah, we have picture. Not sure if you can see. There is like seven percent charge. Probably you can't see it. Yeah. So the battery it is charging. I'm gonna stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video it will be helpful for you. What I mean by helpful is a lot of people, probably most of the people, they will they will avoid diagnosing a thing with the power supply just because you know if you don't really know what's going on there you can create more damage even myself i was confused first i set up the power i want to set up the power supply around 12 volts because that's the main power L voltage but then for a second i i thought you know maybe I have a shorter mosfet and then i'm pushing 12 volts inside of the cpu or uh, something else that's the reason why the most of the people they are avoiding using the power supply but Soon as you figure it out, which is the main power rail, then you can try and come and push uh, a little bit of current and a little bit some voltage and try to raise the voltage the way I did. And yeah. Okay? Thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. And one more time, if you have another uh, solution to approach this fold, I'm still learning. So let me know in the comments. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.